r slash ask reddit what's the most outrageously expensive thing you seen in person i went to a party at a pool house when i was a teenager just the pool house was 4000 square featuring the kid's grandfather invented sheet rock my apartment is 750 square featuring totally useless comment but i'm just so blown away sometimes that entire annual expenditures is easily less than people pay for bottles of wine and their pool house can fit five of my entire living space not even including the pool i don't get why you'd want a lot of that shit i want a bigger apartment but geez i'd rather have a nice house in the suburbs and smaller apartments in my favorite cities rather than one massive mansion where i'd never use 90 percent of the space Catered a high school graduation party. We did fried chicken and mashed potatoes. So had no idea how we ended up serving food in a mansion. Turns out the daughter was going to Auburn. So they wanted something southern. Out of 200 people there, they ate maybe 4 full plates of food. They had another catering bring the real party food. Too long didn't read. People dropped 3k on food just for the novelty of it. Do rich people not like fried chicken? I'm pretty sure I'd still like that no matter how much money I had. When you're 120 pounds in the rain, you might not lol. Only the people very clearly hadn't come from money 8. I attended a wedding that was rumored to cost well over a million dollars. There was two venues. If I remember there was 9 plus member band flown in from NYC. Another strings band during the ceremony. And a third trumpet band that escorted the walk to the reception. An artist oil painted the reception live at the party. The food was incredible. Each table was over the top with guests having their own glass engraved with their name to take home. They gave people dancing shoes you could take home. It was incredible and probably the most expensive private event I will ever attend. I'm sure I'm missing some other details but everything was over the top. Most expensive party I've been at was a corporate function. They had a restaurant crawl through Beverly Hills with a different course at each restaurant. Finished up at the Beverly Wilshire. After that the company had a private party in Rodeo Drive. Shut the street down and paid the shops to stay open. The whole week was nuts. It was a convention exhibition in 2000 during the initial internet bubble. One night I went to a party in one of the famous nightclubs with celebrity lookalikes handing our drinks. Another night a company had hired a penthouse suite in some famous hotel and got a celebrity chef in to cook. Wolfgang Puck if I recall correctly. Another company hired Universal Studios Park for 50 people all evening. Another hired QE2 for a meal. Or whatever liner is berthed up in that area. It was my first business trip and I was gobsmacked. A freshly drafted NFL rookie stayed at a hotel I worked at and partied a little too hard. When checking out he left over 100k in jewelry in the room. I was tasked with going and getting it and securing it till someone from his posse could come get it. I wore it for a few hours for fun. Heavy AF and so duck and shiny. A bracelet that was wider than the biggest watch covered in diamonds. And a chain that went past my sternum and probably one stroke two inches in thickness also completely encrusted in diamonds. This is why poverty is such a huge issue with those type of people after they stop playing because they've never had money. Way overspend and then end up poor again. My sister used to work on super yachts. I'd go visit her every now and again and stay on the boat during off season. In crew quarters. This was about half a billion euros worth of boat. And it was pretty damn fancy. It had glass flooring and staircases. That turned opaque if you stood on them so people couldn't look up your skirt. All the usual fancy boat shit like a spa and gym and movies that hadn't even been released at the cinema yet. I remember visiting San Tropez after I graduated and just seeing all those super looks yachts parked up. Crazy money just to have them moored up there, let alone to buy in the first place. I visited San Tropez once, and I was kind of amazed that the town isn't even that pretty. My high school orchestra teacher, who is also concert master for the Arkansas Symphony, was loaned a 12 million dollar Stradivarius anonymously for an upcoming performance. I wasn't allowed to touch it. But I got a solid look at it, as well as heard it from 3 feet away. Concert master for the Arkansas Symphony, very impressive. But I wasn't aware that Stradivarius ever made banjos. Yes they did but they are super rare. It was a family business and the two brothers were the most involved. 
Antonio Strada very specialized in violins and cellos whilst his sibling Joseph made cruder instruments including kazoos. After a while Antonio's orchestra focused instruments gained widespread acclaim and the family elders, fearful of losing reputation, made a hard decision. They only kept selling Antonio's instruments and banjos. The Partek Philippe Grandmaster chime in steel at an only watch showing in London. All the big watch companies do a one-off for the charity auction, and Partek usually only do watches in precious metals. A grand complication in steel is truly a one-off. It sold for 31 million Swiss francs close to 35 MUSD. I actually held it in my gloved hand. Whilst obviously nothing like that price, the most casually rich thing I came across amongst my friends, who are all varying degrees of working class to wealthy but nothing overtly ridiculous, also involved a Partek. I was traveling to the wedding of two friends, I live in the capital city but they were getting married in the countryside. The bride calls me to ask if I can pick up a wedding day watch for the groom as she'd forgotten to collect it. It still needed to be paid for and she was trying to work out ways to transfer me cash instantly to pick it up but the bank wouldn't do an instant transfer for the amount. Thinking she was overcomplicating things I said why don't I just pay for it on my credit card then you can pay me back whenever. I joked as long as it doesn't cost more than 20 grand as that's my credit limit haha. And she said ah. Okay, don't worry about it. Mum can eat your past and she'll pick it up. At the reception I clocked a brand new Partek on the groom's wrist. He's not even into watches. In Aspen. CO a few years back in a small antique store. We walk in and the guy working there never even acknowledges us while he's casually chatting on his phone. I see a carved wood eagle sculpture about 2 feet tall and 1 foot wide. I flip over the price tag $125,000. I laughed out loud, looked at my friend and said this isn't our kind of store and promptly left. Aspen is the weirdest place I've ever visited. I'll tell you where. Someplace warm. A place where the beer flows like wine. Where beautiful women instinctively flock like the salmon of Capistrano. I'm talking about a little place called Aspen. I live in NYC and like to be a tourist sometimes. So my husband and I went to the 5th Avenue Tiffany's. I don't even wear jewelry, but I like shiny things and are very nice. Clearly board sales associate let me try on a yellow diamond, two and a half carat engagement ring. For fun. I asked the price and it was $65,000. I can't even imagine how rich you would have to be to have that as your engagement ring and that be a normal thing. My wife and I were walking around the Vegas strip and went into Caesar's palace. Just exploring. We were carrying those super tall colorful daiquiris from Fat Tuesday. Basically we both looked like cousin Eddie from Vegas Vacation. We wandered into an art gallery where they had a collection of sculptures of Cirque du Soleil performers by Richard MacDonald. We were the only ones in there so the board curator showed us around. So we're walking around. Very shit faced. Sipping on daiquiris and saying hum very interesting. And we just bought a house for that much. The CEO of my husband's company years back held a Christmas party at this house. At the time, the company was a startup and there was maybe 20 employees. He had original Picasso artwork on his walls. I have no idea how much they were actually worth, but I thought that was pretty cool. I got to see one I studied in art school in a friend of a friend's home. I was in awe. So, like, you eat your pop tarts in the same room as your inherited Picasso? I worked security at an art museum and we exhibited this little Chinese teacup with a rooster on it. Little ass thing was worth over 36 million dollars. Apparently there were only 4 in the whole world. I felt unsafe around it like I'm not risking my life for this stupid cup. I guess it's not entirely outrageous but I went to a family owned aquarium store a couple months ago to get some medicine for my guppies and they were selling 1 year old arowana fish for $6,000 each. I'm probably just ignorant when it comes to prices of exotic fish but I was quite surprised considering they were surrounded by guppies and goldfish whose lives are worth approximately $2.50 each. There's a few reasons for their price. They are endangered and difficult to breed in captivity, which contributes heavily to the price. I have always assumed part of it is to prevent people who cannot afford to care for them properly from buying them. They are best off living in a 400 plus gallon aquarium which can easily cost over $5,000 to get one fully set up. 
They also eat voraciously, grow large and live for up to 15 years. A lot of knowledge and money to take care of them. While guppies can be well cared for in a 10 gallon tank and pre-made flake foods. That's my two cents. Goldfish however should not be cheap, since they grow huge unless stunted in a bowl. They are most appropriate for ponds or large aquariums, where they can live for a very long time as well. F-35 and F-22, both at air shows. F-35s were parked and didn't fly but I got to see the F-22 showing off at a different air show. The way I describe it is it's an IRL cheat code plane. It doesn't even look real. It still shocks me whenever I fly and I look through magazines and see ridiculously expensive shit. A gold pen for $1,700 plus that you can sign your death bills with. University Cafe charge $2 for a vending machine sized bag of lays. It's asinine. Last in Australian. $10,000 20k bicycles. I must have looked poor, because the guy running the place pretty much kicked me out as soon as I walked in. Went to Disney World a few years back and got a glass slipper from Aribus Brothers. One of the items they had was a jewel replica of the castle. It costs more than $30,000. And don't get me wrong. The thing looked wicked. But I'm not spending more on a decorative piece that will live behind glass. For my own sanity. Than I spent on my car. $37,500. It's limited edition. It's on my list of things I would buy if I had stupid amounts of money. Just for the novelty. That's a third of the total cost of my current home lol. And more than I make myself in a year. I ducking love that glass shop. I have a couple really nice pieces I've bought myself over the years. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.